aware that being passionate about gender quality, equality is not sufficient, my government is reviewing policy and legal frameworks in order to come up with actionable and measurable plans to ensure economic empowerment of women, but also other aspects pertaining to gender equality and gender parity. We are also working on designing and implementation gender responsive microeconomic plans, budget reforms and stimulus packages with the objective of reducing the number of women and girls living in poverty. Mr. President, the challenges of climate change are really affecting livelihoods, peace and security, and forceful displacement of our people. Tanzania government spends 2 to 3 percent of GDP to mitigate and build resilience of communities. And this is a lot in a country which is still grappling with poverty coupled with emergency of the COVID-19 pandemic. The pandemic has compromised our capacity to respond to harmful impact of climate change. Therefore, our actions today determine the future of our planet in terms of climate change. And in this regard, I call for transparent modality for financial disbursement and emphasize that development can developed countries should fulfill their commitment to contribute US dollar 100 billion annually by 2025 so as to facilitate the implementation of the Paris Agreement. Mr. President, Mr. President in conclusion, I wish to echo my country's commitment in pursuing the principles and of multilateralism as enshrined in the Charter of the United Nations. I urge, the, I urge other nations to continue supporting this August institution. The onset of COVID-19 has given to all of us a lesson that we are deeply intertwined and that unilateralism will not get us anywhere when it comes to challenges that transcends our national boundaries. A wise person wise once said, and I caught, alone one will go faster, but together we'll go far. Multilateralism must always prevail. Mr. Chairman, I thank you, and I thank you all for your kind attention. Thank you very much. Endelea kutazama Spin Tanzania. Bonyeza hayo maandishi mekundu yaliyoandikwa subscribe na kengele ili kupata taarifa zaidi.